It was minus 47 yesterday with the wind. Minus 47 Celsius. Since New Year's Eve, it's been... I feel... I am almost panicking because I know I have, I don't have options of getting out. I don't have proper, a, a proper coat that fits. I am trapped. Yesterday, see the thing is when it's this cold, furnaces can quit, your pipes can burst in the house. Um, two years ago when this was, when I was just acutely ill, sleeping zero or one or two hours a night, literally I was just fighting for my life from day to day and my pipes froze and the whole house flooded. Just absolute disaster. Tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. The entire house was underwater. And I had to deal with it. I have no idea how I never lost my mind or, or just gave up. It was non-stop crisis, non-stop. Yesterday, my power went off twice. Everything flickered and everything went off. And minus 47 with the wind. And I thought, Literally, I, I, I feel so at risk. Like if if my furnace, I, I was scared my furnace went off, and then if I had to phone the gas company to light the pilot light, it could potentially be hours without heat. Where am I going to go? It's minus 47 degrees Celsius. So literally I'm thinking, you know what? There's a possibility I might not survive this if my power goes out. I have nowhere to go. I have no vehicle. I can't get anywhere. I have, I have no people. I have no tribe. Just the an uneasiness and the fear... We're in extreme cold warnings. Last Christmas, I woke up not breathing. I could tell I wasn't breathing for a significant amount of time because I was so confused. When I woke up, I woke up, there's no power in the house, and I've got the CPAP machine on, and I'm not breathing. And it was like someone took a running leap and kicked me in the chest. Low oxygen and not breathing. Just scary, scary things living alone in climate like this. So um, I couldn't get the TV yesterday when the power went on and off a few times. I was scared. I couldn't get the TV back on. When you're this isolated, I have the TV going all, all the time, just for noise, just for company, even if I'm not watching it. Imagine being alone 365 days a year without sound. You would go mad. I couldn't get the TV on. I had to phone the, the cable company. I don't know why the TV wouldn't turn back on. And then finally, when I went to bed, my lamp, 
uh, my bed, I need a bedside lamp. I'm sick and I need things during the night. And uh, the lamp wouldn't turn on. So it's like two in the morning. I'm going to the spare bedroom to get the lamp out of the spare bedroom. Spare The lamp in the spare bedroom doesn't work. So I'm taking the bulbs out and I'm shaking them to see if they're like, I wonder if there's a power surge and the bulbs burned out or the, the lamp that was in here, it had a brand new bulb in it. It was the last bulb I had. It's not, I don't think it's burned out. So why aren't the lamps working? And I took them and I plugged them into a live plug-in that's working fine. I don't know. Why would the lamps not work after the power came back on? My head hurts so bad I can't even figure this crap out. So I went and got the the lamp from the living room, the larger lamp, and it's in here. And I sure don't like it in here. The light is so different. So, I mean, it's scary times. Who would even think, you know, we're in such strange times and, you know, I've always been independent and strong throughout my life and had to, had to figure things out on my own because, you know, my family does not show up for, for each other. Had to power through life circumstances and stuff. And who would ever think, I would never, ever think that I could be a grown woman and be afraid to be alone because of the cold. Like you don't think that some people, <clears throat> some people are at risk and vulnerable. So cold that the power goes out and, uh, you know, pipes burst or, uh, furnace quits. Um, uh, <laughs> your house can flood. I bet you, I bet you probably, I wonder if, a few people's houses flooded last night if their furnace never went back on. I, I never thought I'd be in a position of fear ever in my life. I've had a car all my life. You just get in, a, get in your car and you go somewhere. Go to a friend's house. Go somewhere warm. You just take care of yourself. You just do what you got to do. I never thought ever in, in my life that I'd be in a position where I'm helpless. It's so bizarre. People think that this can't happen to them. It can. This, you know, this is a disaster. Medical harm put me in this position.